Dr. Joe calls them mind movies. I call them video hypnosis. Hi, I'm Patty Bell of soulshepherd.love and I am going to show you how to make a beautiful professional mind movie with low to no cost. Free software and free images, free videos, and in no time with simple software, you're going to have your own lovely mind movie to use to create whatever new habits or new life that you want. So I am going to walk you through the process that I use step by step. These are video hypnosis um, add-ons that I create for my clients. So if they have a particular thing that they want to start doing, such as daily meditation or daily spiritual practices or better health, working out, eating right, um, whatever new habits they want to instill or a new life that they want to instill, then I will create a custom video hypnosis for them to use while they bring that uh, new life into manifestation. So here we go. So um, we're going to be using a software application that's online called canva.com. A lot of you will be familiar with Canva. Maybe even your workplace has a subscription to Canva. If you've never heard of it, you're going to want to go to the site canva.com and sign up for a free account. And as part of that process, you want to take advantage of the 30 day professional trial. And that's going to become clear when we start to get in around making our video, our mind movie. You, anytime you set up free software, especially if it has a trial, a 30 day trial, you know, and then they, they'll start charging you, you want to put a notice in your calendar. So I always go into my calendar and put in there when I have to cancel a trial if I don't want to continue to subscribe to the software. Although this is really cool and if you do any social media or anything like that you might decide that you want to have it. But it's not necessary. But for you know a month of building mind movies for yourself totally worth it. So here we are in Canva and before we get started making our mind movie we need to have a few things in place. We need to one, know the subject that we want to instill in ourselves. And we want to have crafted some intentions that go along with that. So I'm going to demo um, on a mind movie that I'm putting together for a client that wants to make healthier choices in her life. Um, eating, you know, a different meal plan, um, and moving her body more, you know, losing weight, things like that. Just better self-care of her physical body. So I'm going to use that as a demo to show you how I'll put it together. And this is exactly what you would do. So I've got the intentions that um, have come out of our sessions together and have written those down so that, that I can use them in the movie itself. Now, here's, here's a little bit uh, different thing that I do with the mind movies for my clients. I embed kaleidoscope videos in the mind movie. Now, Dr. Joe uses these in his advanced retreats, and I think he has some on his website for sale. Kaleidoscopes are wonderfully hypnotic. <laughs> they will slip you right into trance. So I embed kaleidoscope videos at the beginning, depending on how long the mind movie is, beginning and end. So on the Dispenza site, it suggests that your mind movie is four to five minutes. 
in the case that I'm building here, you add a couple of minutes on for those kaleidoscopes so that you, they can help you go into trance to, to visualize and create the mental imagery of your mind movie. So I'm just showing you a Google search for different kaleidoscopes and you want to look for kaleidoscopes that are copyright free, public domain, or that you can use in your movies. Um, although these are for personal use, you're not going to be sharing them with anyone else. So you want to find something that you have the rights to use. And I uh, searched on this site called Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. And you can see they have a ton of fabulous kaleidoscope videos um, to choose from. And everyone's gonna like different ones. I found some that I like. And this is, uh, this is actually one of them. I'm going to click over to this one. And then this tells you what you need to know about it, when it was created, who made it. And if I use these uh, videos, I always send a uh, little money to the people that made them. Um, and if you know, I continue to use these, I will probably send him some more money um, because I really like his. They're really fabulous. But as you could see, there were tons to choose from. Now, if we just, I'm just going to play this for a second and you can see um, that it's really beautiful. It's really soothing to watch and it's really trancy, hypnotic. So what you do is you download your kaleidoscope videos because I, I could not find any kaleidoscope videos in Canva that I was happy with. So you're going to download your kaleidoscope videos and then you're going to upload them into your account in Canva. Now this is the the main dashboard in Canva, and you can see I make a ton of stuff in here. YouTube thumbnails and, you know, various things, uh, social media, various things, a book I'm working on, the cover for that. And then to create your video, you're going to basically just search for the template. And if you type in video, this comes up right here. And you can see there are a lot of templates to choose from. So you don't even have to start with a blank slate. I'm going to be starting us with a blank slate for a blank slate. A little can't talk. Um, a blank slate to start with, but you could actually pick any of these and modify them to your heart's content. So I've already started by clicking this create a blank video. And I've got that, this going over here right now with the Mind Movie demo. And as you can see down here at the bottom, we've got these different uh, frames or images. And these represent the videos that I've already dropped in. So I pre-started setting this up so that you could see how it works. And now I'm going to add some things to it. I am going to go and find my... Um, kaleidoscope videos. I'm going to click on my folders here and I put them in my mind movie folder. If I can find it. Uh, and here we go. It's easy to find because I have my little kaleidoscope there. So you can see it's got a mind movie that I've created. It's got the images, the still images, and then it's got the kaleidoscope videos. So I'm just going to click on this. Oops, I need to be on my new frame, my new blank frame. I just clicked the plus sign. Now I'm gonna add this. 
and it's not quite the right size so I'm grabbing the corners and I'm just stretching it to fit so as you can see it fits there perfectly and then if we click on this it'll stop it'll stop moving but I don't want it in the middle of the video I want it at the beginning so I'm just going to grab it and drag it and move it over to the beginning now if I start playing you can see up at the top here I call it mind movie demo um, this is when it's ready to go you can share it you can give a you can um, post it to different sites and then this is the length right now this is one minute and 21 seconds and I'm just going to start playing it to give you a little demo so here's the kaleidoscope So it starts with the kaleidoscope, then I go to the first video, very short video, and that, remember this one is about health and physical well-being. So it starts with my body is my temple, and you can see the video that I chose for that. And these videos are all in Canva. I'm going to show you how to search for and find these and drop these in. Then next I have little food, healthy salad, food preparation video, and then a short sleeping video. So for a healthy full night's sleep. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the next one, which is about getting daily movement. And we've already alluded to yoga in one of the videos, so now we're going to go and find walking. I've added another frame here, another blank frame, and I'm going to go up here to uh, elements, this area right here. And also to, if you've never used Canva and this is overwhelming to you, I'm going to drop links to some quick Canva tutorials. One of my friends is a fabulous um, Canva teacher. I'm going to drop a link to her uh, Canva playlist on her YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more about Canva, you can learn there. This is strictly about throwing together a mind movie. So here we're in Elements and I want to search for walking and I could do hiking I could do any number and I want to limit it to videos you see we can use photos graphics videos you could do still images and put them in your video there are an endless number of things that you could do here so I really like this one where it's in nature so let's give this a look so she's having a lovely walk and I'm going to make this the right size again and this video is I believe it is up here it says it's 12 seconds so but we need our intention so I'm going to put some type on this I'm going to go over here to the text option and I'm going to click on just the heading. We're going to make this smaller. It's pretty big right now. But I'm going to just put this up here. And I'm going to start typing the intention. And that is, I move my body daily and enjoy the energy I generate. There we go. And as we can see, it's not readable. 
it's too big. So we want to, I'm going to have it align left. I just click this button right here. I'm going to type in 50 and see how that looks. That's looking pretty good. If I click on the letter with the different colors, then that's going to give me the options to change the color of the text. So I'm going to move this down to the bottom and I'm going to still make that just a little bit smaller and now it's very readable. So now let's take a look at this video with the text on it. I move my body daily and enjoy the energy I generate. So that gives us time to read it, time to enjoy the scenery, and imagine ourselves out walking and um, getting some fresh air. So let's see. Um, let's do one last one. I'm going to add another frame here. And we're going to search this time. We're going back to elements. And we're going to search this time on meditate. Um, so we're looking at meditation and video, and I want it to be not too um, specific to a person. You'll notice that there were no up-close images of people because we kind of want to project ourselves into it, right? Um, let's see. There are so many to choose from. Let's see about this one. I think we'll use this one for the demo. So I'm going to, again, make this the right size. Whoops, sorry about that. There we go. And we're going to do our type again. So we go back to the text. We're going to add, now you can get fancy with fonts. You can play around, do all kinds of wonderful things. This is just to get you up and started. I want you to see how fast this, how fast and easy this can be. So we're going to move this up here. Again, it's too big. Um, we're going to change the size of it. We can change what typeface it is. But right now, we just want to type in the intention, the last intention for this particular video. And this is, I feel deep love and gratitude for my body and myself. And then we're going to do a line right again. In this case, um, let's make this 50. And we're going to knock it down to two lines. And then we're going to change the line spacing to bring it a little bit closer together. And these are all, all of these are up here. Anything that you can do with the images or the graphics in Canva, it's all right, right here. It's very simple. Um, I'm going to change this to a dark navy. Here we go. Dark navy. Oops. I missed the eye. Somehow I did not select that. Okay, so let's play the video and see how this works on the background. That remains readable throughout. Excellent. And then I'm going to end it with another um, kaleidoscope so that we get that same sort of uh, nice trance state on exit. 
So now that this is all together, it is 2 minutes and 39 seconds. I always advise my clients to watch it first thing in the morning when they get up and to watch it before bed to help with the hypnotic training of our subconscious, superconscious mind to help us make these new life patterns happen. All right, now we're ready. We're going to download our video. And as you can see, let me move myself out of the way here. As you can see, it suggests an MP4, which is what you want. And you're going to just click the download button. Um, it's going to take a little while, especially if you are making your video HD. It's going to take a little while to compile and to download. So I'm going to pause the video here while we do that. Okay, our Mind Movie has downloaded, and now what we want to do is add some music to it. I'm going to show you how to do that in iMovie. I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a PC or you don't have I, Mind, uh, iMovie, there are lots of free video editing software options out there, so do your research and find an application where you can drop in the audio that you want to go with your mind movie. Now, let's take a look at how our movie came out. And I'm just going to, rather than show all two, two minutes and 40 seconds, I'm just going to swipe through this really quick just to make sure everything is there. There's our kaleidoscope, there's our body, and then our meals, and our sleep, and our movement, and our gratitude and love for ourselves, and then closing out with another kaleidoscope. Now, audio is really going to make a difference to this, so we want to jump over to Mind Movie or I mean to iMovie or whatever other software that we're using. And I'm just showing you this is my Mind Movie that I made for me a couple of months ago and it's got the track that I listened to to it. Here's the audio, here's the video and it's really just literally dropping it on to these two tracks. So let's go back to projects. Let's create new movie. And I'm going to import the video that um, we just made. And I thought that was Mind Movie Demo. Here we go, Mind Movie Demo, and we're going to import that. So there it is. We just drag it down to here, and now we can scroll right through and see all of the different parts of the video. Now to add audio, if we click on the audio and you're on the Mac, your iTunes library is going to show up and then you can pick one of your favorite songs um, to that. So let me see, I think um, I'm going to look for Govinda, which is one of my favorites. And that really gets the love and gratitude flowing for me when I listen to it. Um, but I might pick something that my client really likes. Here we go. So I'm going to import this. Yep, there we go. That's what I want. And then just drag it down to 
and then just drag it down to the timeline. You can see it's longer than the movie. I mean, yes, the movie. So we can shorten that to the length of the movie. And then to get it to fade out, see that little um, dot there? We can get just drag that over and then the sound will fade out. I'll play it from there. So you can really start to hear it fade right along here. So that'll fade out with the kaleidoscope ending. So we've dropped our audio in, we've finished our video, so now it's time to export the um, movie. And we can just select our file. It tells us how big it's gonna be. We can choose the um, quality. We want it to be high quality. We can always compress it later, but I'm just gonna drop it into Dropbox so that I can listen to it or watch my movie whenever I want, so I'm not too concerned about size. But you can definitely change the size here. We can change it to medium, and it drops down by half the size. Um, and then we want to change the name of it um, to... I'm going to call this Mind Movie Health. And click Next asks where we want to save it. I'm going to just click the desktop and click Save. While that's exporting, we'll take a little pause. Okay, so here's our finished Mind movie with audio. Um, let's just pick out a little piece here to play. I'm going to start from the kaleidoscope. Let's take a look, see how it looks. Okay, I think that they came out pretty good. For very quick and dirty, we've been doing this for, you know, less than a half an hour, and it's just come together like that. I hope you see how you can make a beautiful, compelling, professional-looking mind movie or video hypnosis, if you prefer. Um, I hope you have fun with it. And... Check out my site, soulshepherd.love, and I'll see you around.